Simpson Women's Tennis is achieving a lot of success on the court, due largely in part to number two player Emily King and number one player Anna Wanick, who is currently 7-0 in singles play and has been named back-to-back -back American Rivers Conference Player of the Week. I think just come out every day ready to play, um, trying to keep the team atmosphere productive and uh, working, focusing on improving um, every day and just enjoying playing tennis. Um, I think doubles, especially this year, we've really focused on um, strategy type and definitely focusing on winning those first three matches is important. Probably work ethic, uh, just working, working on the strategy of the game, like playing every point like it's important because it is and just uh, being willing to put in the work. Um, it's been really fun playing with her, uh, definitely a very high level of doubles that we haven't been able to do in the past, so it's been really fun getting to sort of explore that and keep improving each match we play. Um, I think it, we just had a really quick uh, bond to be able to play like that. I think a little bit of both. She's very naturally athletic, and um, she also has a really good work ethic and always working on improving and asking advice from our coach and working on anything that she can improve. Uh, it's been very exciting. I'm really glad that we got the opportunity to compete this fall. Um, it's very nice that we're a very small team and usually pretty spread out, so we are sort of the ideal set up for a pandemic, but um, it has been very nice being able to travel and compete still and have that season. Uh, I think focusing on the conference tournament right now, um, we made it last year, but then it didn't end up happening, so I think the team is very motivated to make it there again this year. Honestly, I was kind of really shocked about it. Um, I had no idea that this would even come about, I guess. I just kind of was just trying to have fun being on the tennis team. I mean, Division Three tennis, lots of fun, but also I'm a very, very competitive girl. So obviously, anytime I step out on the court, I'm going to try to win. Um, so I feel like very, very honored that they chose me for player of the week um, two times now. And, you know, it's just going to keep on adding fuel to the fire and it's going to want me to work harder and harder each week. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the two weeks to come. I can't take much credit for doubles. Um, playing with Emily, like I've said in other interviews, like she has just a very calming presence about her and it just really helps me to kind of relax and just go out there and have fun. Um, we do a lot of doubles practice and like pra actual practice like drills and everything. Um, so that just helps us be more comfortable playing with each other. Um, so like I said, I can't take much, much of the credit for doubles, but um, also in singles, again, I can't take much credit. I mean, if you're in practice playing against Emily and playing against all the other players, I mean, they're just going to constantly make you better. So, I mean, I can't take any of the credit. I mean, being in practice, it's going to be much different if you don't have better players to play against and practice against. So, I mean, just being able to show up to practice and knowing that the other girls are going to make you better, um, it's just very, I mean, I don't even know the word to describe it, but they always come up and they, they make me better and better. So being at the Division three level kind of gives you the opportunity to play both. Um, it's more of a balanced lifestyle. At Division II, um, basketball was basically 24-7, not 365, but basically 365. Um, so you didn't really have the opportunity to play both sports. Um, but like I said, here at the v Division three level, you do have that opportunity, kind of with a more balanced lifestyle. Um, over the course of the two years when I was in Mankato, I still brought my racket. I had tennis balls with me. Um, had my tennis shoes always in my car. Um, so I'd always try to get some of my teammates to go out and play with me, or I found some other people who actually played tennis in high school and we'd go out and hit often. Um, so I tried to keep it around, but also just over the course of the two years, it just kind of made me realize how much I actually love the sport. Um, I had just kind of been doing it for fun, obviously, and um, it helped me with my basketball agility um, in high school and everything, but um, yeah just being able to transfer to Simpson. Um, I knew Faith, the coach. So yeah, it was just a great opportunity to kind of come back in action and come out of retirement. It's been so much fun. Oh my gosh. I mean, 
It's hard with the pandemic because usually I'm like such an interactive person, like giving high fives all the time, but the racket touches have been pretty special to us. Um, and just like celebrating the little things, like I said, it's just so much fun playing with her. She's a great player and, you know, I can't ask for a better doubles partner. Um, not necessarily, like you said, um, tennis is a pretty low risk uh, distance sport. I'd say the biggest change is probably just each person or each pair on the court only has two balls so you can't touch your opponent's um, racket touches like I mentioned um, at the end of the game or sometimes after the end of the game uh, other teams just like don't want to get too close to you at the net for racket touch so they just kind of wave and say good, good match or whatever. Um, but yeah, I guess overall there hasn't been much change with the pandemic and everything. So that's something really special and about the sport. And we're very blessed to be able to get the opportunity to even play. I, I mean, like I just said, it's, it's just a blessing. I mean, I, I really um, have a lot of sympathy for all the sports that got canceled or pushed back. But um, yeah, I was super stoked that we we're able to still play and be on the court. And it's just a lot of fun having, having to experience this kind of weird season with all these girls. And it's just been a fun ride. I can't wait for the rest of it. Simpson Women's Tennis is set to play two contests leading up to its home match against Co. this Saturday. For Simpson Storm Sports, Noah Sacco and Seth Howard reporting.